What's up, everybody? Welcome to this week's episode of Zeba Games. This is episode... It is 30, correct? Is it 30? I wrote that <gasps> down. It's 30. It's 30. You know what's even weirder? August what? 30th is the day we're recording this on. Wow. Whoa. Wow. It's August 30th. Unless somehow the next episode happened like 3131, but we'll never have another day. We're over the days in a month now of episodes, basically. That's true. So that, that is the true. last time this will happen for us. Now we could be like, you know what I mean, like June or like January 20th, True. right? But whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah you guys. Uh, this is our Xbox podcast where we talk about everything but Xbox. It's not just kidding. <laughs> everything and Xbox. We talk about everything and Xbox. Actually. Yeah, we talk about a lot of stuff. Um, if you guys want, you can check out our socials. Twitter is the Facebook. Also check out our YouTube, but we put all of our videos on there. Uh, we also have a website, ZB.Games, and we have a Patreon, and we'll talk a little bit about that a little bit later but first i just want to welcome to the to the to the stream yogami because it's yogami's birthday yesterday yeah it was wild that's fun we got we got music video wasted <laughs> yeah it was a fun show i played all my favorites from the past 17 episodes it was fun <laughs> i really enjoyed it music video wasted <clears throat> yeah it was fun it was crazy, man. You had a lot of people in there. Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, I, you know, I don't ever look at the count. So when I go raid, I'm like, wait, why is the number still going up? <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, wow, there's a lot of people in there. Dang. Yeah. Do you get those? You get emails at the end of your streams too, where they send you yeah, stream yeah. summaries? Yeah. So I see it at the end. And yeah, my, uh, yeah. I was like, wow, that's a, lot, that's a lot of people. <laughs> that's true. It was cool. And then he went and hosted me. And then we had Crazy Destiny Night. Well, we yeah. played Rocket League. We did our tournaments. They just... I know the tournaments are going to get kind of wrecked here in a little bit. There's a big old update for Rocket League coming out. They're changing all the tournaments. It's going to basically... Like, to go play tournaments that aren't, like, through the game, like, you know what I mean? Like, the game's hosting them, then it's not going to yeah. really be worth it because I can't give out. So there's going to be, like, a whole new credit system, right? Ah, it's cool. I'm excited for the new stuff that's coming out in Rocket League. But, yeah... That's true, um, Josh. Josh is now in the in the Yogomi homie. We're all in the Royal Gomi clan. Yeah, for Destiny. So it's more Destiny. Yes, we all have to play now. Okay, I just want to like real quick before we get going on the show. I want to show you guys this shirt. I was like, man, <laughs> last week we talked about me wearing a nice shirt. This week I wanted to wear my Sunday shirt. You know what I'm saying? So it has a picture of the Avengers <laughs> with Jesus sitting in the middle. It's super sacrilegious. <laughs> and not in a mean way. And it says, and that's how I saved the world. And that's Jesus <laughs> saying that to the Avengers. <laughs> I saw it on Facebook. I was like, I need funny. to buy that right now. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. And Damn. sometimes I bought it just mainly so I could wear it to my in-laws house. Because they're very, I mean. I am religious. <laughs> They're very religious. We'll say it that way. <laughs> and so I did it to kind of like make them mad, but they didn't get mad. So they just thought it was cool. I was like, dang, bro. I was like, I was kind of hoping. Yo, what's up, Dog Daytona? Chip's here. JD's here. Your boy Wiggles here. Queso Cabez is here. Just, I said JD or Josh. Which one did I just say a second ago? Well, JD and Josh are both here. <laughs> Yo, we got the whole squad up in here. We had Kermit was in here a little bit ago. You guys, welcome to the show. Um, let's, uh, let's talk about what we're going to talk about this week. So we got some things to talk about. We didn't talk about last week. We did not talk about the DC fandom. We kind of talked about it, right. right? A little bit, but we can talk a little about it a little bit more if you want. We can talk, we're going to talk about GamesCon because GamesCon just happened, which was actually kind of really cool. Mm -hmm. Um, yep. Just lost what I was talking about. I wanted to talk about some of these meta scores in these games that just came out. Because mm -hmm. if you guys, oh, Tidus is in the house. Yo, Xbox dropped some bangers this last few weeks, bro. Like, they are, their Metacritics are just popping off. Dropping dimes. They close the dimes. They're like 85s, 86s, right? So, actually, let's just, I'm going to go right into those and we'll, we'll kind of make our way back around as we go. So, Wasteland 3 just came out, right? Right. This was just what the other day like this this is thursday it came out um it was thursday was that thursday august 28th e, so that was friday, friday actually okay yeah. so it came out friday this sucker has an 86 meta score really That's pretty freaking good yeah <laughs> uh what did gears tactics end up getting i don't even remember 
Let me check. I just wanted to check that too, cause I'm gear. So basically, Wasteland Three is kind of like Gears Tactics, but Fallout style. So Gears Tactics came out with an eighty. I wonder if it's gonna get a higher one when it comes out on Xbox, cause it'll get re-ranked. You think so? I think so because they're gonna fix a lot of the bugs, right? And then it's gonna come out launch date with Series X. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Three months, yeah, yeah, yeah. Three months of Discord Nitro included with Game Pass Ultimate right now, which is that's a banger. Um, and then this other game just came out, right? Tell me why. You seen this one? What was it called? So, oh, tell me why. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's sitting at like a seventy nine eighty, like it's right there on the edge. Probably because people are complaining that it's not long enough because people mm -hmm. like to do that. I I watched this trailer. Um, didn't we? Didn't they showed this trailer last month, I think. I saw this last month. To tell me why. They... Wait, wait, wait. So somebody somebody game rant scored this a 50. This is the reason why. Tell me why it doesn't allow players to skip most of the dialogue in the game, meaning those going back through for collectibles or to see how different choices impact the story will experience a lot of deja vu. This inability to skip dialogue significantly brings down tell me why is replay value unfortunately um uh I just let's let's just establish this real quick what's more important playing the game a second time or playing the game the first time because i feel like the most important part is playing the game your initial impressions correct like the first time right i just i, I, just, I guess i don't get that like that that seems like a for a 50 yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, what what what's kind of weird. I don't know. Maybe uh, when, sometimes when I see reviews like that, right, that are so, I don't know, they seem so ultra personal. That, yeah. but they still get spot. They get the spotlight. Yeah, it makes me wonder. Are they just trying to show people the contrast in good reviews versus you know negative positive reviews versus negative reviews? Or yeah, because. Some of the some of the um, reviews seem so like based on a a very specific preference, you know what yeah. I mean? That, that that doesn't apply to most people or the general. Uh, they group look at of, it personally, not objectively. Right, and then and it does It's not something that's really going that uh, that really reflects on how how great or how good or bad the game is. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I don't know. But, you know, I, people are triggered I, by different things. I've seen, so, like, bad reviews, too. People write the bad review. Like, the game was great, but it, I, it just didn't resonate with me. Like, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, so they I, gave it a bad uh, review. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't make a lot of sense, right? You said it was great, yeah. but it didn't resonate. Does it, what does that mean? You know? It's confusing. Yeah. Also, oh, like, um, uh, Battletoads as well. I wonder what that ended up with. <laughs> One of the things Jeez. that bothers me is when people give people uh, give give products a bad review because like it showed up late or something like it has nothing yeah. to do with the actual product. Like I stubbed my toe when I was getting the box because the box was super heavy or something. So I'm going to give I, I'm only going to give it two stars, <laughs> you know, something like that. You know, yeah. I see a lot of reviews where the, the, <laughs> the review is based on something that had nothing to do with the the performance of the game you know yeah i just man this tripped me out i just can't believe <laughs> I, and i feel like there should be, i feel like uh with metacritic people should be able to like the developers should be able to question it yeah or like they should be able to what's the word i want mm, respond I'm, or reply or oh, there's a word i want that's even like a more like it sounds professional when you're saying like yeah like retaliate but it's not that word oh but um, i'm not good with big word appeal it yeah see i like that what's yeah, up appeal lupo? appeal's a good one challenge that's good what's up lupo look lupo's in the chat i don't know what's up lupo i was just I thinking about him the other day, day. he was on twitch today at one point i saw him Really? So, yeah, I got a I saw a notification, but it was like way before I was awake. <laughs> way before I was awake. But you know, it is what it is. Um 
I was gonna like have a whole conversation with Lupo, and I was like, you know, we probably should do our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I was already ready to go. I was like, hey, yeah, like, uh, he wasn't he our first guest? He was our first guest. Yeah. We should just like have a phone a friend, and we should have him talk about uh, on <laughs> out, Outriders. Oh yeah, Outriders. Are you excited for that, Lupo? You still excited for it? They released the Techmancer, right? That was the fourth, the fourth subclass. Very, he says, very excited. Well, that's cool. <clears throat> uh, pretty much, our community's been. Uh, I've kind of made everybody re addicted to Destiny again, <laughs> and now it's like now mine and Yogami's communities are just like Destiny up, like hype, just like meshing, <laughs> like everybody's just playing all the time. Yeah, all the time. It's great though. I like it. Josh, I know you already were playing, but I've got JD to play. I got nuts for buds to start playing. We got Venom to start playing. <laughs> Josh, it's just gonna get it's just gonna get worse. <laughs> Icons playing again. I love Destiny. Battletoads has a seventy three Metacritic. Hey. Uh, we'll talk about that. Uh, yeah, we'll talk about. That. <laughs> you can see, you can see why. Yeah. But, yeah. Um. You're play He said, "I'm playing right now." Where it goes? Wiggles had to stop playing though. Wiggles is like Destiny. Yeah, I'll play that. <laughs> I tried to get five to play with this issue. He said no. Um, he said so he hadn't uh, played since D one, right? Yeah. Yeah. So let's let's go through the timeline, right? So let's go back to DC fandom, right? Okay. Or Warner Brothers fandom, DC fan. It's DC fandom, but it's basically this section was Warner Brothers games section of DC fandom. So you talk about this Gotham Knights. What are your yeah. thoughts on this? <clears throat> so, this is the one where there's the four. The four you can be. Uh, yeah, it's Batgirl, it's Red Hood, yeah, Bat Robin, mm -hmm. and the Nightwing. Yeah, I got it right. I thought I was gonna miss it. I think it looks cool. I like the presentation. Um, I don't know why I don't like. I like DC. I just don't like it as much as I like Marvel. You know. Um, yeah. I don't hate DC or anything. I don't think. It's not like Marvel's better. Or I'm not saying that. It's just that I'm just more invested in the characters on Marvel. The whiteies. Um, <laughs> but that being said, it does look kind of cool, though. It does look kind of cool. It uh, so you can play it single player. It's a two play. You have two characters going at the same time, pretty much mm -hmm. always, right? So right. You have a bot playing as them if you don't have a co-op. Like if you don't have someone playing with you online. Uh, I believe there's no couch co-op on this. It has to be online for your other person, which honestly is better. Trust me. Right. Yeah. So it, she said, say, or Case of Base says basically, it's, if it's, oh, he says, if it's basically Arkham Combat with co-op, then I'm in. And for oh, yeah. what it looked like, I mean, it was, they didn't show us too much, right? But it's cool that there's different fighting styles, right? So you're going to have tech <laughs> style, right? Mm -hmm. You got Red Hood. He doesn't really fit with this whole thing, but you know what? He's cool. He's got guns. Yeah, he's gonna true. Be shooting everybody. Um, <laughs> Nightwing. He, you guys have watched Nightwing. He's freaking flying all over the dang place. Yeah. Just, I mean, I'm excited for Nightwing. That's a cool one. That one. Yeah, I like that was that was some of my favorite like cartoon ones to watch. I liked watching. Uh, oh my gosh, all I could picture is it, but I can't even think. What was it called when they used Nightwing in it? The redheads like a. Red Hood's, I don't know, he's like a bad guy. Yeah, he's like in, he's like kind of a, uh, dude, what was the show called? The old cartoon on Cartoon Network we used to be able to watch. What, uh, Teen Titans? With Batman. No, oh. with Nightwing in it. Oh, um. It was very was dark. Like the whole show was like, Red Hood had a DLC in Ark of Night. Ooh. It wasn't Batman animated series, was it? Or, uh. Was it Batman Beyond? I think it was Beyond. Oh, Batman Beyond? Was it Batman Beyond? Young Justice. What was that? No, it was it was the show was like it had Bruce Wayne was in it with Nightwing. So Nightwing was played by like a, obviously like a tall, skinny white dude with black hair that looked like he was wearing eyeliner, which fits Nightwing's style, I guess. Was it the then, new Batman <laughs> Adventures or this is a there gosh, was gosh, um, um, no, I'm all like into it. Uh, images for Nightwing cartoon. Because I remember Batman animated series, and then there was the new Batman Adventures. There was also Batman Beyond, but I think Batman Beyond was—I don't know. Wait, was he even Batman Beyond? Dude, I don't. I don't even think know he was. was. <laughs> I, no, I feel dumb. I can't even think of what it's called. 
I don't know if he was. There is Young Justice. That was Young Justice is newer though, correct? Yes. I'm thinking of like, dude. I don't know. I it's think it was. The, I me. think I'm it was the new pictures, Batman but. Adventures, dude. <sighs> it was a high chance. That had that had. You're talking about the one that had Nightwing in it, right? He was like more. He was prominent character in it. I don't know. I'm lost. I never watched Young Justice. Is Young Justice good? No, I'm Red like Hood and Harley lost. Quinn had DLC in Arkham Knight, and and they are both getting games. Oh yeah. Speaking of Harley Quinn, <laughs> right? the other game that got announced that got they like revealed it before showing a cinematic trailer, which was kind of weird, right? Like, let's hype up a cinematic trailer. And so like two days before, they're like, here's this picture of Superman with purple eyes and <laughs> yeah. a crosshair on his head that says Suicide Squad. You're like, yeah, well, I, I guess we're getting that. a Suicide Squad game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then they, yeah, then they just showed us a... Uh, that was Cinematic that was an trailer. interesting. That was an interesting prom promo for that. Like I kept looking at that one. Why would they? I don't know. That just seemed like an interesting promo for. It did Suicide look a Squad. lot like. So some people were saying, uh, "Oh my gosh, I just had it." Suicide Squad kills Justice. Like yeah, that's what it was called. Yeah. Um, Sunset Overdrive vibes. Like when you're watching that. You're kind of oh, like, oh yeah. Like uh -huh. How the yeah, world has that yeah, kind of yeah. color, that color, it did. color scheme right. to it. Yeah. Obviously, it's going to look better than that, but like yeah, graphic wise, yeah. they got to go for a more realistic look. But yeah. Uh, it looked cool. I don't really get to watch this stuff because they do stuff for some reason. I hate when they do stuff that early. They're like, no. hey, yeah. I'm like, here you go. You're like, I'm at work. <laughs> no, Keso in chat, he's a big Batman guy. So I'm curious what game he's looking forward to the most. I'm, I'm sure. curious to know that because I know he loves the Batman Arkham series. You know, there's a Batman. I mean, there's a Harry Potter game being made right now too. Mm -hmm. Harry Potter RPG mm -hmm. from WB as well. Yep. Yep. Also, look, we can just we want to stick with WB. Another thing happened at Gamescon. <laughs> we just flow with WB. Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker. Lego saga. Star Wars, yeah. Gosh, dude, that looks so <laughs> sick. I was like, yep. I'll buy that one. They had a pretty funny promo for that too. Did you watch the scene where they show uh, the em the emperor like he's he's about to electrocute Luke? It's so be it. But then when he electrocutes him, it's the uh, the actual Lego electricity instead of the oh. <laughs> it pops <laughs> out of his hand. That. It's it's the Lego pieces, and they don't they don't reach him because he's too far away. It's pretty funny. I actually laughed at that, but. Um, <laughs> Yeah, you're more excited for Gotham Knights. I think Gotham Knight looks really cool. Um, they're they're saying that Suicide Squad's look is going to be a games as a service. Oh really? Yeah. So, huh. a Avengers, basically, right? So it's going to be Avengers, but you're not playing as heroes. You're playing as heroes that are villains, oh, or see. villains that are heroes. I, which yeah, both. Huh. I can see it now. Queso saying, "I am cheesehead." <laughs> it's true. Um, I don't know. There were some other cool things at DC fandom, but really, that's all we got for games. Um, we saw uh, yep, just lost it. We saw uh -oh. the Snyder cut. Oh yeah, true. Uh, we'll see about that. What else did we see? There was something else we saw there. I can't remember. Oh, the new Batman, dude. Oh yeah, our Pattinson. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be we nice said it. and dark. It looks good, <laughs> man. I'm excited. Dude, he just, he just. I'm not gonna. I was gonna say a bad word. I'm not gonna. I was like, cut myself. <laughs> I was like, dude, he just kicks the crap out of that dude, though. Dude, like, oh, straight yeah. up, and you're like, oh, that looked a little overkill, but all right. <laughs> Vengeance. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> 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 just like, stop hitting him, dude. You kill him. Oh, <laughs> What's up, Louie? His name is Low Level, but I call him Louisville because that's just how I know him. Because <laughs> that's what it used to be. We are a mixer. A little mixer. Um, you got me. Which one are you going to play? Um, and Guess what? You're going to have probably a year between each of them. So. Yeah, no kidding. Um, nice, Louis. I don't know. I, this is, I know this is sad, but I usually... <clears throat> tend to avoid <laughs> the DC games for some reason. Really? I don't know why. I just uh I'm not big on fighting games. 
right? Um, like, um, I guess these are like beat 'em up games, or like, not super fan of hack and hack and slashes type. That's what these. This kind of reminds me of. Even though I really did like, um, what was that? Did you? Did you never play any of the Batman games? No, I never played um, any oh. of the Batman. The you Arkham probably would Simon. actually really like them. I know, like. and the thing is, is I've watched <laughs> people play them, and they look great. And I know the Queso is uh, Queso Cabeza Cheesehead is actually the one that's got me um, more interested in at least trying them. Now that yeah. they have more access to them, I just I don't know why. I just uh, I think a lot of it again has to do with um, the style of game that I like. Yeah. Um, I, I well, I've watched so many people play it, and there was some issues I had with like the mechanics, and then some of the voice acting. It's just little things that just kind of like they, it doesn't really pull me into it, you know. Yeah, but I love Batman. Batman was my first superhero that I liked, you know, growing you, up. You, so you got, we can play uh, Gotham Knights together, bro. That's true. That is true. I do like that idea. And I think that's what it was too, is hey, was was it being a one player. Next year game. we'll find out that Microsoft just purchased them anyways, and so then we can just have it on Game Pass. <laughs> no, that's not yeah. we don't that's I don't know from what I've heard, people are saying it's not gonna happen. Probably not. They think it was just a uh, WB uh just dipping their toes in the water to see what happened. Everybody freaked out and then they're like and then the prices just kept going higher and higher. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit of hype on it. You can uh, make things cost a little more. True. So a lot of people are saying, like, uh, when uh, Game Pass they announce their things, they're like, "Yeah, we have over ten thousand or ten million players on Game Pass." <laughs> people are like, eh, "From what I've heard, it's a lot closer to 15, but they don't want to <laughs> say that, right? Because right. at fifteen million, then people can be like, "Well, you have this many people on there, so you should give us this much money." Right. So by saying ten, you're like, "Hey." Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it's Probably pretty good right now though with all this uh, with COVID stuff, but yeah. So this week too, you got me. We got uh, the new Call of Duty. Reveal. True. Did you see that? Yeah, I meant to ask. So uh, going back to Cheesehead again, he was talking about right. um, he was playing Call of Duty, or he was playing the uh, the um, the campaign. He said it was really good, but. Uh, <sighs> Is it a new campaign? So the new one will be. So the new one that just got announced is the Cold, is Black Ops Cold War. Okay. So right now we have Modern Warfare, right? So that's right. the one that's like War Zones, like its own kind of. It's part of it, but it's really its own, its own thing. Right. Um, that story is really good. That's really, yeah, yeah. Uh, because I I I streamed that right when it came like, out. I streamed the story right when it came out. Yeah. <clears throat> so then this next one is a uh, black ops cold war oh the cold uh, war one that's right that's the one that's in the 80s yeah yeah, yeah during the whole the um russian ronald reagan yeah ronald reagan that's right i actually saw a screen the other day of uh, the likeness of ronald reagan and i thought it was really a picture of him too. <laughs> yeah uh there's some uh there's actually some uh, contention in there as well with this whole ronald reagan thing it's, uh, mm -hmm. i don't want to get too much into like that kind of like political kind of side of stuff yeah but. But I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't. That's what was. That's who was president during the time. So yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, well, the the reason, the thing that I'm saying. So I guess you're able to pick if you're a guy, a girl, or you can call it, or it's unclass or unclassified. I don't know what they call. It, basically, like that, right? So you can put yourself as you don't want to be a guy or a girl. You're in the middle. And right. then they, you, then you're taking orders from Rod, Ronald Reagan, and Ronald Reagan, I guess, is famously known for uh, not helping with. There's a whole like. Yeah, it? yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. There was a whole big thing that happened back then, but. Right. I wasn't alive, so I can't tell you guys the details. I was. You not, were very. Uh, you were young too, though. Yeah, I was young. I was. I was a teenager. Did you care? Did you care about politics when you were a teenager? Nope. I, I did not. <laughs> nope. Did not. Did not care. I mean, we kind of had to with like the nine eleven stuff, but that's about it. Yeah. Um, I think. I think. That time is when I became more focused on politics. Yeah. I think that was when, and. Um, when I know this sounds kind of selfish, but 
when I started to realize that things were actually affecting me and my livelihood personally, yeah. I'm like, whoa, so, oh, okay. Decisions and policies actually do affect people. <laughs> you know, you don't really yeah. think about it until it hits you. And you're like, oh, wow. Okay. But anyway, <clears throat> you know, just, yeah, but it was, I mean, it, it was a real time, you know, it was, yeah. And in, in, in the video games, sometimes I think instead of, I don't know, you want video games to be very accurate because I just read an article today about remembering World War II. I think it was a, yep. uh, uh, and there was, it was an article that popped up about all the video games that are out or coming out that go back to World War II. So, you, you know, I remember, was it, was it Call of Duty? Or battle, I can't remember. I think it was Call of Duty, where I played on the OG Xbox. I think it was, and it was a World War II game, and it actually creeped me out. It was so creepy because they said they went back and they modeled, um, they looked at the buildings and modeled everything after what really happened. It was yeah. kind of eerie, to be honest with you. But sometimes these video games were this one, this '80s one. Maybe it's an opportunity for us to maybe reimagine things differently. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because video yeah, games, yeah, yeah. let's, come on, you're in a video game about something that happened in the past. The fact that you're in a video game, it's already inaccurate, you know? So yeah. you can't look at it and expect it to be laser precision, um, his historical accuracy, you know what I mean? Yeah. And maybe we go back and reimagine how things could be or... You know, that's that's kind of one of the good things about video games, right? We get to yeah. use our imagination, and, uh, do things differently. So yeah, you know. things were definitely different back yeah. then too. So like, kind of how you were just talking about that, like it didn't affect you back then, but now no, it's like no. we, they're, we're looking back at these things. Like, well, like they're just telling a story. Is like you can't really change what happened. Yeah, it doesn't change what happened. Exactly. <laughs> it happened. Playing this video but, game now doesn't erase history. So like, I can't believe I can't believe they're supporting that. You're like, I don't feel like the term supporting is used right there. Yeah, like yeah. Again, of, uh, well, it doesn't change what happened. Exactly, right. What happened happened. Um it's just like um I was on YouTube the other day. I was watching um somebody had remade this song and somebody somebody commented go they ruined the original. I'm like, no, they didn't. You can go listen to it right now. It's not like they said, from this point on, all the original <laughs> recordings of the song by the original artist have been deleted off the face of the earth and the galaxy. You only can listen to this version moving <laughs> forward. <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, it's, <laughs> I, I guess that's, that's the one thing that I think I've noticed more about live streaming too is like that you, you really get to see the keyboard warriors at a different level. Yes. And you're like, man, it's like, it, it, I feel like you type things out and like, I don't know about you, but when you type things out, like you can like, you have a better uh, ability to look at it and you're like, oh, that sounded kind of dumb. Let me, re let me, let me retype that. Like, <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> but like, like when you used to have to say things in person, right? Like, especially when we're live streaming, like you got to like, be careful what you say. You got to be like, careful what you say. Anything can be taken out of context. Yeah. Quick, especially if somebody comes in like halfway through a conversation, like, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you guys talking the, about? The, yeah, dude, we've had some weird conversations on my stream lately too, man. And we definitely have that coming in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, me, me, Josh, and JD lately, the conversations have been going all over the place. So, you know, we uh, we call ourselves the older brother stream. Yeah. A lot, a lot of these younger kids come in and we're the older brothers. We're good examples. Don't worry, guys. Good yeah, yeah. I'm not saying it in a bad way, but. Of course. We, we, we keep it up. We just we just answer questions, okay? For better and for worse. See, there we go. I like that. Um, I actually did not watch the trailer for this one. Reflector or not Reflector? Unknown Nine. Oh, I did. <clears throat> so what? What is this? Let's see. Let me go to it again. I got. I'm gonna need. Yeah, Unknown Nine. Oh, so that is that's the one where the the girl. It's a young girl in India, right? It's uh, and she discovers that she has these powers. Sure, I could watch it. Right so now. the trailer, the, when you look at the poster, uh, when you look at the image that they have for Unknown Nine, it it sort of it, it's kind of misleading 
to the to what they're going to show you in the trailer. Yeah. Because the trailer shows this young girl in India, an Indian girl, who's being <clears throat> looks like chased and bullied. And then she discovers that she has a power. Mm-hmm. And then something happens. But then at the end of the trailer, they show this image that you see here, which looks way more futuristic and modern. Even the <sighs> logo looks way more modern and futuristic than what they showed in the trailer. So like I said, that's kind of good because then it's like, wait, oh, there's a whole other side to this than just what we saw in the trailer, you know? But I'm, I'm actually kind of interested in it. What the heck? Yeah. Oh. You watching it? Yeah. What the heck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll put it up in the, uh, I'll show some of it while we're talking about it in the, uh, in the uh, video version. That's, but yeah, That is weird looking. All mm-hmm. right. It looks, looks kind of cool, I mean, right? Yeah. You got a power. So. And look at the, the animation. The modeling looks so good. Look very. Yeah. I don't know if that's how the gameplay is, is going to be, but. Never know. Yeah, it looks cool. Yeah. Uh, I'm down. Yeah. I'll tell you what, Game Pass has made it so I feel like I don't ever need to buy games anymore. Not like the game's not on Game Pass. I'm like, hey, hey, I'll think about it. I haven't <laughs> bought a game in a while. I think, well, I think the last <laughs> game that I bought, uh, far, like a, a new game, was um, on the Switch. Still have to buy. Oh, I thought Switch. you were gonna say your pre-order for uh, <clears throat> Destiny. Be oh online. yeah, well that too, of course. Even though it's on Game Pass, we're still yeah. gonna buy it. Yeah, I still <laughs> bought. I, you're not I, gonna buy the cheap edition. You're gonna buy no, the no, expensive no, of course. edition. Are you kidding me? I got the deluxe. <laughs> I need. A, I need all those seasons. <laughs> I do. Last I got, game I bought was Fall Guys. I feel that too. <laughs> I feel that. Yeah, I got the deluxe edition. And you know what's uh, crazy is I was playing uh, yesterday or the day before, and I went into the <laughs> I went into Eververse, and it showed yeah. you that you could buy it. And for some reason, it said purchase now. And in my head, I like. Huh, I thought I purchased this. Oh well. And I clicked it. <laughs> I was just like, I'm just gonna buy it. And I'm like, ready to oh, buy it already... He's like, Well, I was gonna buy it anyways. So yeah. buy it. Wait, and then it says you've already like, purchased nah, this. I'm like, Oh, oh yeah, that's uh, right. Okay. We could have totally just bought it twice. <laughs> At least they stopped me. <clears throat> well, Josh, maybe you get lucky and we get you can win one and we still got a couple we still got what when does Beyond Light come out? November. November. Oh, right when the consoles come out, huh? yeah. everything's gonna get right crazy all the, the same time. Consoles come out, yeah. Oh, here it comes, huh? <laughs> Man, dude, we're so close to these consoles. Oh, yeah, I know. God. Time's fine. It's the end of August. September is Tuesday. Yeah. AKA, I'm gonna have a baby in like two and a half. Weeks. That's right. I'm gonna be an uncle again. Well, three. I ha- we're not due for like three and a half weeks, but I'm pretty sure we'll probably have it in two and a half. My guess is, like I was saying, my guess is probably the 16th or the 17th. I think is what we're what I'm I'm guessing. The baby's not due till the 24th, but I'm thinking 16th or 17th. Uncle Yogami, Yogami. Says this. That's that's pretty cute. Not gonna lie. <laughs> um, another thing they showed that we got a campaign. DLC for Doom Eternal. Um, oh yeah, it looks crazy. looks crazy. <laughs> looks but, uh, so crazy. That game, from what I this is what I've heard from a lot of people. They're like, it's cool. The game was the game was great, but the game was stupid hard at the end. Oh, so really? now it's just gonna get harder. And you're like, people are like, I don't know if I want to go harder at that game. And like, <laughs> yeah, but. It is for the, it's not for everybody, right? DLCs are for everybody. DLCs are for the hardcore. True. The people that want to keep going. True. Oh, this is kind of cool. I didn't even know this. So it says, somewhat surprisingly, you'll also be able to play the expansion even if you don't have the base game. There you go. So you can just go buy the DLC and be like, no, I just want to play this. Call it good. Yeah, huh. I was watching some of the Doom stuff the other day, and it's just like so, <laughs> so crazy. It looks yeah. yeah. So this Doom's freaking nuts. So if a lot of people are using comparisons to this, they're like, okay, so we're on old consoles. Mm-hmm. They're, well, this is when they're this is, so we're going at Halo, right? So this is a this is a shot at Halo. So Halo's going next gen. They're trying to tell us that the game is almost was almost ready. We obviously now know it was delayed, but when they were first saying that, then people are like, wait a minute, you're telling me I can go play Doom? I can have a shotgun. That grapples, 
people, pulls you to them, and then shoots them with fire. <laughs> yeah. But I can't have a grapple and shoot at the same time while playing. You know, I would say it's like in, in a past gen consoles. It's just yeah, they were going at it. I was like, you know, they make a really good point. It's, it's hard. It's, like, it's kind of hard to argue that one, but obviously Halo wasn't ready. How late do you think they're gonna go, Yogami? How what? How long do you think? How long do you think this delay is gonna be for Halo? Oh man, <clears throat> I don't know. What do you think? Maybe next fall. I my hope and my guess is it's gonna come out before their fiscal year. So, so their fiscal year is in May. Yeah. Yeah, I was May. gonna say before summer. So I would think it would come out right before then. I mean, they seem to be trying to fortify the team, so maybe that's the goal. Jason Staten just got on there. Co-founder of freaking Halo. He's the story director for Halo. Oh, really? Came back, yep. Staten? Jason Staten, is that yeah. the one I want? Let me double check. I'm a, I guarantee there's a story if I scroll down this page like five seconds. Oh, no, because they just got a bunch of new articles on this website. <laughs> it's totally random too since we're talking about halo for a second they did it's pretty much been leaked now that there's going to be weapon charms in there so when you're playing like pvp pve whatever you'll be you can throw web charms on your guns which is kind of cool it's just happy right. because someone put a code in for something and it was like you received this why can't i find what i was looking for it had something about that jason stain guy though i'm pretty sure he's the old hate the old uh joseph Staten returns to work on halo infinite there you go. Jason stay in was it he he's like OG, correct? Yeah. I'm trying to see. Oh, regardless, that's super cool. Uh yeah, they're picking up more people. They're like, yo, let's get this thing done and let's make it let's make this thing slap, which is which is good. That's what needs to happen. <laughs> um I don't know where I was gonna go with that. Halo <laughs> though. I uh, I so I think my guess is my guess is like March May. I don't think we're that far away, especially because uh, we're gonna have really big blanks in games for the next few years, and I think people don't realize it yet. A lot of people don't realize it. You you think just because the new we're not gonna have any games coming out, dude? For a, like it's gonna we're gonna get all these games out that are coming right now, and I think it's gonna it's gonna start sprawling out. Based on we can't do mocap, right? People can't get. We talked about that. Talked oh, about that's week, right. right. You can't do mocap. You can't do music is hard to do right now, right? So they can't Wait. make soundtracks for these games. Oh yeah, I guess if you're trying to put together like full, uh, full orchestra like or, or an ensemble yeah. or something like that, yeah. Which like all of the biggest games have orchestras, right? Mm -hmm. It's true. Yes, yeah. But <laughs> Josh says it's more, more time for, for Destiny. Destiny. <laughs> five says that's okay. That's okay. I have, I a, have a bad. <laughs> that's up five. Yo, and that's exactly we. Get, this is this is Indy's time to shine. Also, I you know Microsoft's like, oh, oh, let's see what we can do here. So Halo's going to get delayed. I'm assuming with this next Xbox show, we're going to get something big that they're going to announce coming to Game Pass day one at launch of console. I think it's going to be a third. It's obviously going to be a third party. Back in the money truck up to somebody's door right now. <laughs> you think because so? You, we got, I mean, what do you, we don't have anything else. What else is on the console? Like what? Why? Why get a Series X unless you're a hardcore? That's true. I mean, they're gonna sell out. They're yeah. Sell oh yeah. Out yeah. They're not gonna. First but, of all, they're not gonna make enough. I know they're not. Yeah. <laughs> then, then people are gonna be clamoring for them. Then you'll yeah. get lucky. Maybe. Maybe you'll get lucky. It's true. And, uh, I mean, I'm. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm like, I have it already set in my head. I'm pre-ordering two of them. Yeah. Oh yeah. Why am I getting a second one? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Honestly, like I was gonna say, that's, don't worry. I'm not trying to give it away. I'm not gonna do that to you guys. <laughs> I'm just gonna get a second one because I guarantee somebody here is gonna be like, oh, I want an Xbox. I'm like, well, like, oh, I don't know. I'll just give you a hundred dollar charge up fee on it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, somebody will buy it Sorry. though. I know. That's why I'm like, I'm gonna pre-order two of them. And like, so maybe that's gonna hurt somebody else later. But listen. I I do want to. We did kind of already talk about, but we talked about once they finally announced Series S, we can look on the future for uh maybe trying to give away one of those because they'll be cheaper but yeah because it'll be a fun giveaway 
Yeah. But we need to worry about some other things too. I'll give True. you the one hundred, and that's all. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Can I get your Series X for a hundred dollars? <laughs> I'll give ten. Oh, Oh, hundred and one. Oh, I was like ten. Now right. yeah, we're having an auction, or what? Gonna have an auction for a console I don't have in my hands yet. <laughs> Just kidding. Remember that one time I was like, "Yo, I already have one, guys. What are you all talking about? I have a Series X right here." Nah, though, it's just a router. <laughs> um, next game. So, all right, we went off subject there for a little bit. We chased it. We chased the little rabbit hole, but we're good. Um, the next thing they showed is they're like, "Yo, check this out. We have this new Dragon Age coming." Uh, they didn't show anything. <laughs> no, they did. They just like talked to like, yeah. So we're working on this new Dragon Age. Um. Um. Uh, yeah. Uh, here's some cool. His, it might look like this. What up, Nasa? He's like, it might look like this. It'd be cool. Uh, but that's about it. Uh, if things could change, you know. I don't know. That one was kind of a letdown. Everybody kind of wanted a little bit more, but then they never gave it. Um. Another. This one. The next one is what got me. This is what I was like. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. They gave us a date. Um, no, uh, Inquisition, uh, was like critical acclaim. Like that thing was like, it, it was, uh, it wasn't like amazing, but it did good because of how big it was. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. So yeah, that Inquisition, I actually bought that one. <clears throat> you did? Yeah. I played Inquisition for huh. like a couple hours and I was like, yeah, I'm not playing this anymore. I think I did um, too. I think I did too, like a while back though. It was a while back. I saw it. I was like, you know, I could, I was like, I don't know. I used to be one of those guys. I was like, I know I don't like story games. We've talked about this. Yeah. I've tried. I like every once in a while, I'm like, yo, you know what? People are talking a lot about this game. I'll try it. Like Fallout 4. Uh -huh. I was like, all right, I'll play that. And I mm -hmm. got in there. And then like, I got to a point where I was like, you know what? Nah. Yeah. For me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Rash says, only reason to get a new Xbox is if you have an OG Xbox One and want a 4K upgrade. I mean, listen, Velocity Architecture, once once you guys get that, <laughs> oh, man, it's going to be uh, it's gonna be an eye-opening experience when we start getting all these different things. Uh, you're going to get this instant instant loading almost, right? It's, ba oh, it's not going to be directly instant, but it's like when you switch your PC over to a solid state. It's a, it's a, it's a night and day kind of thing. It's like, why did I not ever do this before? Right. I think... And then I think also we got to realize too that uh, we talked about uh, what is it called? I can't remember what the program's called anymore. They're doing with the Xboxes where it's going to basically take games that you have and it's going to make them look better even without the developers having to do anything, right? Like, uh, I'll just, I'm excited to see Destiny also on there, man. That's gonna yeah, be me too. Me too. I, I'm really excited to see Destiny on a next gen. Uh, <clears throat> Um, it feels console. good on PC. I played the beta on PC for Destiny 2. Yeah. And I was like, man, this is that great. Looks, I was like, but, but all my looks friends like play. PC. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. You think? Do, do you think we get? You think Junior's going to come back? He's going to come play Xbox um, Series I mean, X? That's all he can. His 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 main beef is the frame rates 60. and the yeah. So maybe 4K 60 native. Because at that point, <laughs> I mean, if that's all it is, if that's the only thing that's keeping you from it, then you know, that's that's yeah. that's fixed. Boom. Um. So the next game that came, that they kind of showed off was it was some people don't like it, some people do. I like it. All right. Wait, are you just played a Valorant game and used the stream as a podcast and it was amazing. One thirteen. Listen, look, Louis, our podcast not only is not that great because of me, but it helps you win video games. Okay. <laughs> All right, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's true, okay. But sorry, the game we were talking about, World of Warcraft Shadow Legend, Shadowlands, got its official launch date, which we've all been sitting waiting for quite a while. Um, the release date is going to be October 27th. <clears throat> listen, Josh. Listen, game better by listening to Zeba Games, okay. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Agami, <laughs> Agami, just well, you need to buy a PC and just play World of Warcraft for this, bro. I'm not gonna buy a PC, <laughs> dude. No. It is. I need I'll a tell new. You what. The next Go ahead. computer I'm gonna buy is a new uh, iMac. You should just buy, bro. You got money? Just buy both. <laughs> no. 
I was like, where am I going to put it? I mean, I guess I could put the... I don't know. Do what I, I, I do. I'm, I'm like these. not completely opposed to it. If anything... I, if anything, <clears throat> I would probably get like um, a gaming laptop, like a powerful gaming laptop. Because I don't... Yeah, that's what, uh, I, that's I don't what need JD another uses. piece of equipment around here, you know? That's what, P- that's what JD uses as a laptop. Yeah, I don't want a big tower just sitting around here, uh, you know? Have you not... I've never showed you my... Have I? You what? My computer, I think I don't know. It's, thought, it's not big, dude. It's like it's like PlayStation five size. Oh, really? Like, yeah, not like a huge freaking tower with like room for like you could, like if you need to put a kid in there, you could like let your kids sit in there. Not not literally. Don't ever do that. That's not me telling you to put your kids in your computer. But <laughs> I mean, I'm saying it's not that big, and like you could legit hide a small child inside of it. And then I have it like mounted. It's like a, I have these desk mounts that holds mm-hmm. it up to the bottom of my desk. Oh, that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah, but uh, it's I mean it's out of the way, dude. I don't see it. The only thing like list like the only thing that it's in the way of ends up being the way of. It's mm-hmm. not like not in the way. It is the way now. That uh, remember we talked about last week the ball fan. Oh yeah, I have it sitting on the ground, leaning against the tower. <laughs> so it's like at a perfect oh angle, like gosh. shooting straight up. I'm like, up? <laughs> they need to bring the wild and Xbox. Yo, check this out, Rapture. So this week, uh, this website tried to push an article saying that during GamesCon, <clears throat> that World of Warcraft announced that it was going to PlayStation Five, and they tried to run with that. And then, like, a literally, like, an hour after they posted it, it was, like, debunked. Like, everybody was like, what the freak, dude? They made them change the article. Like, they're like, no, we're not we're not planning on it anytime soon. I thought they would. I thought Xbox was going to throw it out there because you got, mm-hmm. uh, okay, Mikey Barra's over there now. Right. Uh, goodness, I can, I can picture his face. I can't the the Gears of War guy. Oh man, I'm a terrible person. One of the guys, <laughs> one of the main dudes for for Gears of War went over. Uh, what is that? I forget his name. Hyper you always cheese. you always remember the names of these guys. I don't remember them like you do. It's not Cliffy B. Oh my gosh, dang it, dude! Now nah, I'm gonna have to look it up because it's killing me. <laughs> you think it'll show up? Dang it, I tried to make it go this way, it didn't work. I was like, coalition <laughs> dev goes to... Oh, I typed in the wrong turn, that's why. Uh, oh my gosh. There we go, let me see what comes up. Rod Ferguson, goodness. Rod Ugh. Ferguson, okay. Kind of big deal. So he's doing Diablo though, but... Oh, do we have Diablo too soon? Mm. Yep. <laughs> Not soon. Probably end of next year, but that's a hope, right? Yeah. She said, I like that. You got you look at a little cheese. She said, I told you I would make you a cheese head emo. Remember, we just never did it. Yeah. That was a while back. I think I need to get like five more subs to get to the or six more subs to get to the next tier to get them. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't I don't quite understand how that works, ones. but Yeah, there's like different you know, sub points and sub points work differently on Twitch and it's like the tiers give you different points for I don't know. Weird. <laughs> like you have this many subscribers, but you have this many sub points, and you're like, "But what are sub points?" And they're like, "I don't." Know. Um, another random thing. For some reason, they brought in Crash Bandicoot again, even though yeah. they already revealed it. Yeah, but I, it I was just yeah. never really a huge fan of Crash Bandicoot. There's got to be big marketing deals, and there's just so like they show things that you're like, "Why did you show that?" But okay, hi, Milf and Cookies. <clears throat> um. But the one that's really important, let's just let's just be real. Star Wars Squadrons again was showed there. Mm. Also, oh, yeah. fully playable in VR. We talked about this all the time, but mm. it's true. But, uh, I don't know, man. I, a a lot of people was, was there were a little worried about out? that, but that seems like it'd be really fun, though. VR, VR the Squadrons. You just like sit in your chair. Or do you stand up? I meant well. You probably just sit in your chair, right? And then probably the 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 oh. VR part. Oh, because, bro, man. But it's but like the VR thing right. would be. Think about it. You're in a you're in a cockpit of a of a ship or a, of a fighter. So you mainly just be looking around. Your controls VR and everything would probably stay in one place. You know. So yeah. it's just mainly just where you turn your head. That seems. I don't know. That seems like pretty cool. I I, I kind of. 
Okay, that might entice me to get a PC for the VR. Maybe. Oh. Oh. So we're making progress. No, JD. <laughs> I do not want VR Rocket League. Imagine first person Rocket League. Oh my. You wouldn't even know what the heck's happening. It'd be kind of cool, actually, the more I think about it. Uh, have you played Microsoft Flight Simulator Wiggles? Or do you not have a PC that you're talking about on console? Because that's going to be. That's. They haven't given us that either. Some people say that that might be the one of the launch titles as well, since Halo's leaving. Or not leaving, but Halo got delayed, which would be fitting. I don't know. The Squadron game looks sick. Uh, we'll see what happens. It's uh, That's like in two weeks, right? Wait, when does Squadrons come out? Uh, should be two weeks. It's like September mm, or something? Yeah, mid-September. No one's showing me a date anywhere. Oh, no, 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 no. October 2nd. October 2nd. Wait. Oh, that's right. It got pushed, didn't it? Again. But there's nothing. There's nothing there. Like, that's around that time, so they'll be fine. Everything's coming out in freaking November. Ugh. You like my shirt? <laughs> What's up, Ethan Willis? Man, look, at everybody's in here today. What's up, guys? <laughs> um, the next thing they showed was not Mafia Definitive Edition. I mean, it's just a definitive edition, so it's uh, here it is. It's back. I can sell you the same game again. You guys are ready for it. It's just going to look a little better, okay? You've been... Dang, Wiggles, you played it a bunch, huh? Um, we talked about this one a little bit ago. Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga, though. Oof. All the movies in one game. How do you feel about that, Yagami? Uh I think it's kind of cool. I mean, I here's here's why I kind of think it's here's kind of why I think it's cool because they're putting all the movies in one game, and um, they're not breaking them up and trying to make money off of all each game or each movie separately with a game. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's kind of surprising to me that they didn't just go, we got all these movies. We could just make money off of each of them instead of putting, you know, making money off of one thing and putting, I thought, I don't know. That's just how what I, long is this game going to be? I don't know. <laughs> like, <laughs> if you sit down and watch all the movies, it's, uh, you got to definitely carve out some time for the week. Yeah. Like two and a half days. We just watch all of them with like the extended versions. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you know, but uh, I think it's gonna be freaking fun, man. You got <laughs> yeah. all those different characters in there. Like yeah. that's that's wild to think about. Like, who do you get to play as? Who don't you get to play as? Right? Can I be Jar Jar Binks? That's the real right. question. Okay. Right. If so, I'm so I'll probably buy it anyways. That seems like a really fun game. Blair's like kind of getting to that that age where like things it's starting to get interesting now. Like she likes the controller in her hand now. Right. She has no idea what the heck she's doing. She just pushes buttons and everything moves. So she's like, "Well, that's fun. If I push that button, it moves." Oh. <laughs> True. True. Yeah. All of yeah. So uh, no, no, no. This is new. This is all new games. Yeah, Josh. I was gonna talk about that later. Thanks for reminding me. Um. It's not like that. Like, they're all going to go together now. So it's not like uh, separate games, right? The Star Wars games, all oh, they're just smashing together. No, they're like, we're just going to make it all like a flow. So I'm sure there's going to be, you're going to go through like one of the episodes of Star Wars and you'll probably go through it really fast just so they can get the story through, right? My guess is 10 hour campaign. 10 hour? I, I, it can't be that hard to do the, the animation for that game. True, I guess. Like, you know, how do you die? <laughs> Lego explosion. That's pretty much like every single death in the game. <laughs> it's like, oh. yeah, it's kind of funny, they just though. go flat. Yeah, and all the pieces fall apart. It's actually kind of funny. Games with gold. Games of gold. I didn't say anything. Gosh. Um, I'll buy it. I'll be playing that one for sure. Um, Here's another one. Fall Guys Season 2. Mike, listen. I know they're not supposed to talk about it yet, but I'm, I'm betting by holiday season, like Series X, we have Fall Guys on Xbox. I think that the uh, they had this month, right, on PS Now. Is it PS Now 
A plus. Which one's uh, the live for PlayStation? I forgot. The which one is which? Which one counts as X, like Xbox Live? Uh, PS to, Plus. Is it plus? They're okay, both. So it's it weird because they're both kind of the. There's PS Now and PS Plus. They're similar, and the, yeah, yeah, either yeah. one, if you cut one of them, them off, one of them counts as games. Game Pass. I think it's PS PS Plus. I think it's is Plus. It yeah, five says mobile? Plus. I think it's Plus. I have Plus. Okay, yeah. So that was the game for this month. Uh, you have like one day if you want to go get it. Otherwise, it's gone. But uh, or you could just wait because I bet you in a month it's gonna come to Xbox and Switch. Because imagine how much money they're gonna make on those ones. Also, they talked about new seasons. Season two's coming. They showed the trailer for it. They could add some new maps. They could have a new season pass. All that stuff. But we'll see. Now it's like Stadia. Uh, what's another one that came out? Medal of Honor, Above and Beyond. I've just never been a big fan of Medal of Honor games. I tried, man, back in the days. It just, I don't know. Oh, it's going to be an Oculus game. I didn't realize that. Cool. <laughs> uh, let's talk about what's really important, okay? I right. almost want to, like, skip it and, like, talk about the other one and then go back to it because <laughs> this one's, like, kind of my like big deal to us because we kind of play this game a lot. Yeah. Uh, Destiny 2 Beyond Light. Yeah. They finally showed us the supers. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yo. I'm still Some wondering how they're going to work, though. Like, are they going to work Dude. in PvP? It looks like they work in PvP. They have to, right? I mean. Yeah. But how? But that's just a whole other thing. Like, we talked about last week, right? We talked about with Jago, like, how they're going to balance, how they balance different guns in that game. Now you're going to have four. Dude, uh, they already have, what, nine supers, right? Per class. At that point, it's just gonna, oh, dude, it's just gonna get crazier and crazier. The balance yeah. is gonna be all over the place, but it's, no matter what you do, people are gonna play a meta until it gets changed, and then they're just gonna find the next one. It is what it is. Yeah. You got me. Are you yes. gonna play Destiny 2 Beyond Light? I don't know, man. I'm kind of getting tired of it. Yeah, just kidding. Me too. <laughs> of it course. I'm kidding, man. I can't so wait. It's a, the most repetitive game I've ever played in my life, even though we don't do all the things that are in it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm really excited for it. Um, you got a Sunshot Catalyst and you don't even have... JD, I literally told you to go to Zer because Zer is selling the Sunshot right now. Like, there's... That's it. I try to be helpful to people. They just don't listen sometimes. You got me. <laughs> this guy's man. Who is Zer? Wait, what are you talking about? For real? Is it, are you joking? It's not Z-U-R. It's X-U-R. You guys, Zer is X-U-R. X-U-R. You guys we you guys know why we're called Zeba Games, right? I don't know. Maybe we need to go through that again real quick. We might have to. <laughs> we might have to. Ziba, I explained it to X, a few people. I think I explained X -Y -B -A it. X-Y-B-A is your controller <clears throat> buttons. But if you do X, Y, B, A, that looks weird. So we went Zeba because it sounds way cooler. Yeah. It looks cooler, too. Zeba <laughs> Games. Zeba I think game. it does. And it's easy. It's like, it's like, what was it, an acronym? Is it? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Zer, is, Zer is the leader of the Coden Armada. B, A, X, Y. It's actually B, A, cross, Y. Um, but, yeah. Just look, look, here's your website for you guys. Look, go to this website right now. Here you go. You're welcome. That was loud. I clicked it. Don't click. That's really loud. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> You're going to hear that on the thing, on the stream. Oh, you got me. You got um, <laughs> I just want to read this little section. So they did a little section. We're all GameSpot, right? Reading about GameSpot. It says, Death to be on light. We'll add a new element of power. Stasis. To the game for the first time, you'll be able to temporarily freeze enemies with frost in order to deliver deadly finishing blows, launching storm attacks in deadly burst, or crash into your targets as a living avalanche. You can seriously change how both PvE and PvP gameplay works in Destiny 2. <laughs> Looks cool, man. Yeah, wow, I'm excited. Why yeah, you, uh, do you like, see how they can make like a wall, a shield wall? That yeah, that is that's crazy. 
Yeah, uh, yeah, it's gonna. There's, there's definitely gonna be. You get. It's just one more thing to get pissed off about when you're playing the game. Yeah, it's gonna be like gimmicks. Like, Dang that's it, bullcrap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> Hammer shot. I am not. I'm sorry. I'm not familiar with that Zur reference you had though. Coden Armada from the Last Starfighter. I don't even know what the Last Starfighter is. is yeah, you, you're a little, you're a little too young for the Last Starfighter. Oh, okay. I'm like, yeah, I don't know what that is. It was one of the <laughs> first movies. Um, other than like Tron, I thought it was a game. So there we go. No, no, no. It's a movie, <laughs> and it had really cool um, 3D, um, 3D animation, photorealistic 3D animation. Um, where Tron was really like, once you went into the Tron world, all the 3D animation was in there, so it was sort yeah. of obvious. But this one was kind of one of the first, um, like first movies where they used 3D as in place of making models of of like spaceships and stuff you know what i mean okay, okay. and um it was meant to be photorealistic not to really be 3d but it was cool it's very cool so for when the you time. watched it, it the first time you were like there's no way that uh, whose podcast was listening to? I remember they were like there's no way that thing that th that things can get better than this yes yeah you're like <laughs> man we've made it i'm good we're good oh man all right that's a wrap yeah I just like, and I can say it right now because it's true. Like, how do we get better than what we're at with some of these games already, dude? Like, yeah. And you just, uh, we don't even know. That's the thing that's crazy, dude. I think eventually it's just going to be live action. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to literally be controlling, <laughs> they're going to hire people to be controlled by us. Is and we're going to control Is people. Is that the movie? It's called Gamer, where like uh, you're doing like a shooter game yeah. and you're playing as like inmates, basically. Yeah. What's that guy's name who was in it? The. This is Sparta guy. What's his name? Ger yeah, Gerald. Exactly uh, oh my gosh. Gerald. Oh my. What is his name? <gasps> Gerald Bade, bro. <laughs> you guys all gonna watch that? Where Where can I find Starfighter? Is he was also anything? in like uh, that. What was the movie? The um, where he was protecting the White House. He's in a bunch of movies. So I can't think of his name right now. I'm trying to find out where I can stream it from. You have to buy it everywhere. It's not live on anything. But it's only three ninety nine everywhere. So True. Uh that doesn't work, huh? That'd be funny if I could like I could I bet you you can find it on YouTube. The whole video is probably on YouTube. You say it's worth it? Alright, we're gonna watch it. We'll watch it tonight then. I'll make my family watch it. They'll be all pissed <laughs> off. <laughs> I wanted to watch the new Star Wars. I wanted to watch this. I wanna watch I know you have a good movie to watch tonight. I mean, I don't want to bring down the mood stream, but you can go watch Black Panther. Yeah, it's true. It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, like, honestly, one of the best characters in the Avengers. Like, <sighs> I, it's sad because they didn't they didn't really get to develop him on his own. They did the first movie. Um, I, I I think I've mentioned this many times, but the first two comic books that I ever read. <clears throat> were Captain America and Black Panther. And so I was, my mom taught me how to read before I was in kindergarten. We were living in Germany at the time. I remember yeah. walking over to the store and seeing this, these old school racks that you, they rotated, they were tall and they had comic books all slotted, you know, slotted in them. And I remember seeing Captain America that and Black Panther. And the reason why I was drawn to them because of, remember Batman was the first hero that I, like but i'd never read any of his comic books and they kind of reminded me of him so i was like yeah. i'm gonna get this and i'm gonna get that and to this day <clears throat> still a fan of both of them and then i remember seeing uh that they were making a black panther movie i remember when he showed up in civil war and all these things oh. i just thought it was so super cool and i was really excited to see how they could expand on him more because i loved the black panther movie but it didn't I really wanted to see him be a hero in the world, not just in his world. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know, That's true. I All wanted to see that guy. Yeah. I wanted to see more of him like Spider-Man, you know, like Spider-Man's all over New York city doing stuff. Yeah. So, um, unfortunately, I mean, I'm going to watch it. Just wing it said you can watch it tonight on ABC commercial free. There you go. There you go. I own I own the movie. So Same. I'm actually about to uh <clears throat> do my usual Marvel um what do you call it? Marathon. 
Yeah. So, yeah, we'll see. Dang. So I just realized we've been going for a minute already, dude. Oh my goodness, we have. <laughs> we have. I was like, look at the clock. I was like, Wait, what? I was like, no, I thought we just That's started. crazy. We have. Well, well, we did get off to a late start, though. Didn't we? I mean, I still have over 50 minutes recorded. Oh. No, I'm oh, over yeah. an hour recorded. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, I just looked. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> um, and then the last thing they showed uh, that they hyped up the whole time was uh, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Oh, um, yeah. I mean, it looks cool, but. Mm. Mm. Uh, they're like look at the ssd power by pulling these riffs you're like all yeah. right <laughs> just like, it's cool it's cool it's different everyone's probably gonna play it and love it i just i don't know that's not my type of game i guess yeah the ssd is cool but like i don't know man people go like all about it like halo for how it looked but i'm like do you like this yeah the cartoon looking game like and you what i was like <laughs> yeah and then this trailer got this trailer is better than the last one they showed so i'm like so what are the next trailer of halo been i don't know <laughs> i don't know i'm not hating on it whatever it's gonna be a good game it's gonna sell she has ton it's gonna be on next gen consoles yeah. um i think they're talking about early next year for it to come out maybe christmas this year i don't i doubt it comes out christmas this year my guess is they try to hold it back because they're not gonna have nobody's gonna have much next year. It's gonna get a bet. It's gonna be a quiet next year. Yeah. Yeah. You found Zer. Good job, bro. I showed you a website that legit showed you what he had and where <laughs> he was. Like the people legit spawned into the mm -hmm. place. But you know, whatever. Whatever, JD's cool, bro. You found it. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's talk about the game we played this week. So we played yeah. Battletoads this week. Yeah. Um, I played it with Allie. Mm -hmm. I played street, it by myself. And I bet your experience was not that great. It yourself. was not. It was not. Like I had, uh, to, I had to power through just so I could say I played enough to have an opinion about it. Um, <laughs> the reviews are not great. They're not. I. So it's coming out with a 73 on Metacritic, which if it would have had live, I bet you it would have been closer to an 80, but you know, yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah. Too many moves to remember. That is a big deal. It, it was, was like wait, so many combinations. Do I got hit this. They do that. And then, yeah. Like, yeah. I also yeah, thought. Sure, sure. I also thought just. I thought it was a lazy offering. To be honest with you, I just thought what? it was like you could, if you took the play play. I, I mean, I don't know why because what was the game that we played a few months back that beat 'em up game? Oh, uh, Street to Rage. Yeah. Or so. That game was very deliberate. You know what I mean? It was sort of like old school style and everything. You knew it, what you were getting into you, when right. you got there. But this one, I was kind of excited because of the cartoon style. Yeah. But it was basically the same thing. I was kind of hoping for better animation. Um, it's, it's just, it's exactly like that Streets of Rage game. It yeah, was just with different with the, like different mini games in it. Yeah, right? different like, mini I games that yeah. got rid of the. I'm going to use a big word that I don't think I've ever used in an actual line. It broke up the monotony of it. Yeah, that's oh, true. I've, I've never said that word in my life. I don't. I, I just came out of my mouth for the first time. <laughs> but but it did like it helped. But then it got to a point where I was like, and we're doing this. We're doing the hacking one again. Right. And right. oh, we're doing it again. Okay, here we go again. And like. I played with that. Like, it was fun. It's if you watched us play it, you saw it was exactly what you would expect a couple playing together. Yeah, like, I was like, I was like, just wait until I go. Like, oh my god, I was like, gosh. yeah, because the hacking, right? Like, you get a two person. It's like one person stops at the thing, the next person goes. And you're like, think the way I'm thinking, and she's like, I don't play video games. I'm like, okay, <laughs> fine, whatever. Use that excuse. It was funny. No, we had a lot of fun though, but. Some things went way too long. Some mm -hmm. things got way too repetitive. Mm -hmm. Like the every, like one of the big complaints I see, like a lot of people talking about, like the bike level, the speeder bike level, went forever. Yeah, yeah. I was like, wait, we're still going? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh my, oh yeah, here we go. Like it's like they had to space out the little keys, like the hitting key things to find, right, or something. I don't, I there's no reason to, but, um. The graphics. So I, I'm not gonna say amazing because obviously mm -hmm. that's you gotta shoot pretty high to hit amazing on that. Yeah. But I'm still gonna say great. Though. I'll say good. 
Because I thought it looked really sharp for what it was. I think that's what was so disappointing is that the graphics looked sharp. Like the drawings and the animation looked sharp and everything. I just, I don't know. It was like watching a cartoon. Yeah. I just, I didn't like it. I just didn't like it. I, man, and I like I, some people were like, well, that's, "It's actually really good," and I was like, "Okay, all right." And then I got in. And I'm like, maybe if I could play with like a full squad of friends, yeah, like, then that might better, be fun. Because that's kind of what um, made Streets of Rage fun is we played it together, the group, yeah. and you know, but, yeah, I'd be bringing in all kinds of different people to play that game. That was so much fun. Yeah, I beat it like three times with different people every time, <laughs> uh-huh. just because uh-huh. I was like, "Oh yeah, let's play it." Yeah, um, the story. Uh, I mean, at least you could get it, but it like, yeah, it was legit like watching a cartoon. It was like you fought and then you watched a cartoon. Right. You fought, you watched cartoon. So you could follow right. it. The story was there. I don't know how it ends. I, I no, I didn't stick around. Just, yeah, I last, I think we got like three and a half hours in. I believe it's only like seven hours. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so maybe we were halfway. I don't think we were halfway because I felt like we were just getting stomped. Yeah. Like, you can make that game very hard. Um, mm-hmm. I feel like it'd be a really good game for people that enjoyed the other, the old Battletoads. Right. Yeah. The original. I feel like you, like as a go back, you'd be like, yo, this is sweet. All right, I yeah, like this right. a lot. Yeah. But for new players, it was like, eh. I, I Boom, mean, but, right there. Habershot said it on the head. Exactly what I just said. He said, I think the likability is influenced on whether or not someone, not someone played the original. True. True. I also think too that I don't know. I think it's again, it's 2020. I'm just <laughs> updated, you know, really truly updated. I don't, I mean, like if you were to take, like, well, while I was playing it and I was looking at certain things, you can go, you can, you can take the scene, uh, record video, and then go and stop every frame and f- look at every single, like, um, like, uh, you know, mode of that they have of every action of the character there's probably like maybe maybe 20 or 30 different movements that they have that they yeah. put in it just was so um i don't know just so old school i just wanted something better i wanted something more updated i'm i don't I, i'm you know me i'm not really a fan of going back and playing older games because i keep yeah. wanting to see what they're going to do better um yeah. but there's a whole market there's a whole jo- um it's not. I don't even think it's of a niche market. I think a lot of people like that old style of game. So there's definitely there's some people that are gonna like it because they like that yeah. old beat 'em up style. Um, so it's you a know, rare double game, dragon correct? and stuff like that. Yeah, it was rare. Battletoads is rare. So they had a different company do it though. Yeah, not rare. Mm-hmm. And I bet you they probably didn't put a lot of money into it. And it they, didn't look like the it. reason why I'm assuming the like the Xbox Live Play didn't work. It's probably because they ran out of money because they already had a delay once, right? So they probably that's why it kind of was just like they didn't, they were like, hey, we need more money to finish it, and the Xbox was like, you just put it out, right? Just right. put it out, just get rid of it. Like we don't we, we're not expecting to sell millions. True. Like, this is just like a this is a it sounds bad to say it, but every you have to do it when you have some type of service, right? You have to have a filler. Mm-hmm. You have to have something that's like this is fun. It's good for a day or two or maybe a week or maybe you love it and it's for life. But, like, this is giving you the worth of your Game Pass. Yeah. This is making Game Pass worth it. Yeah. But this month, good Lord. I, I feel like they <laughs> knocked that shit out of the park. Right. <laughs> Let's stock you full of games. Um, replayability. Not for me. Not there. There's not. It's not there. <laughs> no. Not for me. Not for uh, me. So what are you going to give this game overall? I'm gonna give it enough for me. Really? I'm yeah. gonna go with wait, it's amazing, great, good. I always mess it up. Yeah. Good. I'm gonna good. go just a little I yeah. I did enjoy it. I had fun. It was fun that I gotta play with Allie. We played it on like really easy difficulty. We still got slapped. And and I think um, it's good that we have a we have an opinion of it from somebody who played with someone and a pin opinion of who played it by themselves. There you go, Chip. Thanks for that. Yeah. And it's just man, yeah. If we could all just play together, it would have been fun. I think so, too. I think I would have had a lot more fun if I had played. I think the review, like I said, the reviews, it'd probably be an 80. It'd probably would have been mm-hmm. a lot higher because it was still a good. It, it it maybe wasn't our game, but if you can play games with people, it you have a different vibe. Is it different everything when you're playing with them? Yes, people? I agree. I like agree. Des- imagine Destiny if you couldn't play with anybody else. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> like, well, now uh, we're just going to do a strike by myself again. Okay, here we go. <laughs> exactly. okay, like, a lot of games. I don't know. This game you could play with people, but yeah, whatever. Um, we're all going to say the same thing. What would you fix live? We just just give us multiplayer. Like you got to be kidding. Multiplayer me. Like, live for sure. How how is that an Xbox Game Studio, the company that has the best online infrastructure, and you don't have it? Like you, you know what I would think. You know what I think. What would make the game better for me? So flawless. Do you remember when we played the? Uh, the, the Power Rangers game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And remember, it was a fighting game, obviously, like a lot of the, you know, you have the left and right, you know, and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. But the graphics were better. So it would be, if you could have that beat em up style, but the graphics were on the level of that, I would be okay. I would, I would like it more. Yeah. Not just like, you know, framed, you know. It looked like I was watching Powder Puff Girls, bro. <laughs> you remember powerpuff girls powerpuff girls okay. yeah 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 well but it gave us it was more of like the the more modern cartoons where they like look a lot better than the you like you realize you're like oh wow they like somebody got out there sharpie and like drew that black line really good this time like, right i'm just kidding right it's not what it was but it's like <laughs> you know what i mean it's like that's how that's kind of how i saw it like it looked a lot better yeah yeah um i forgot i was gonna tighten that up real quick I wanted to check the games with gold real quick too. Put them on so we have them. That's not the right one. It's cool. Because we just got new games with gold. Oh, yeah. And every time I go in, it's going to the wrong one. Can you <laughs> just take me to the right one? That'd be super cool. It's not going to right now. Oh, because it's showing me last months. I need new months. My bad. Games. With gold, what is this month? September. Yes, September twenty twenty. Here we go. Now they're gonna tell us. Look, here we go. Um. So next game. What do you want to do for the next game? What did we talk about? We talked about a couple of games this week. So Wasteland Three came out. Right. We already played a game very similar to Wasteland Three. We played what was that it? Uh, Gears Tactics. So Wasteland Three is basically Gears Tactics, but in a post-apocalyptic world. Okay. So I didn't Basically, play Gears Fallout. Tactics. So what's the oh, other okay. one? If you want to play Wasteland Three, we can. I mean, do you no, like what was the one? Did you, you like mentioned? XCOM or no? Um, I never played XCOM. Oh, okay. Well, I'm it's, not it's very really good like for that. some reason. I'm not good at those strategy type games. I think it's just because I don't play them enough. Could yeah. be why. Uh, did you say? Oh, you said that might be why. I thought you said the other name of the game. The other game was Tell Me Why. Oh, Tell Me Why. See, I'm down to play that. I'm down to try that out. So that's just very. So that's going to be a weekly episode. So the next episode oh, comes out next week. So I, uh, I think there's only three. Oh, okay. But we can do it. I'm down. I mean, Cooper yeah. was saying we should try Drake Hollow too. I'm gonna. I download a Drake Hollow. I'm gonna because that looks actually kind of fun. Drake Hollow. Um, so it's a three person co op online, and it's like Fortnite saved the world. And what did I say? Fortnite saved the world, and they had a baby. Grounded had a oh, baby. Oh, yeah, yeah. You were talking about this. Let's do that one. Because I'm probably going to play Tell Me Why fun. anyways, because I downloaded it just to download okay. it. Okay. So. This one does How look about, fun, though. Drake Hollow does look fun. It like it looks weirdly yeah. fun. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I was like, I know. And then we could play with people, too. So we could set up a night. Like, We could probably play that. We could probably do Tuesday night. Yeah. Dang, everyone having babies, even games. Listen, it's that time of year. <laughs> you know what's weird? On my route, so I do UPS, right? There, in the last, like, month, I've had 10 different people get puppies. Really? 10 different people. And then I also got a puppy. <laughs> it was weird. I was like, whoa, everybody's got puppies all the same time. So, uh, you guys, we're going to try Jake Hollow. Um, if you guys also want to play Tell Me Why, I, obviously, I would definitely suggest playing it. I'm probably going to play it anyways just because I kind of want to go with it as the episodic yep because we can just keep up with it every week and see how it goes because it looks sure. really cool and from what i saw so the trailers didn't even like look that great like i thought they weren't that high of quality but then when you watch the gameplay of it yeah like it, looks it really actually good. looks way better mm -hmm. than the trailers i was like yeah the heck i was I like agree. all right um so this week games with gold or this month sorry september's game with gold september 1st to 30th 
the division one. I just okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even. <laughs> Are okay. they just, did they just stop trying? <laughs> I guess. It's a great game. You guys want to go like have fun. Like it's fun, but no one's gonna be on there. No, I mean, if anything, they're gonna be playing Division Two. Yeah, there's a whole nother game with like that's already like five expansions in. Yeah, but whatever. Uh, September. These are the Xbox One games, by the way. September 16th to October 15th. The Book of Unwritten Tales Two. Um, that one looked weird. Yeah, I'll be straight with you. Uh, <laughs> then an Xbox 360 game. Also play on your Xbox One September first to the fifteenth. Blah de blab two. Um, I don't know how to play that game. This is actually kind of cool. So this is an OG Xbox game, Armed and Dangerous, September sixteenth. Oh to yeah, 30th. I remember that game. That one looked kind of fun, mm -hmm. dude. I had a throwback the other day, so I was listening to uh, IGN's podcast, the uh -huh. Xbox One they have called Unlocked. Uh huh. And it reminded me of an OG Xbox game because they do like a questions, like a they call it loot box at the end, and so like some. People send in like really hard Xbox questions. Right. And one of the questions there, I don't remember what the question even was, but one of the answers was Mad Dash on OG Xbox. And like, I don't think a lot of people even have ever played it. <laughs> I thought more people would play it. So back then, right, like you barely had live. Like, live was just like mm -hmm. not that great. It was right. there, but it was not that great. Yeah. Live was made for Halo. Like, right. <laughs> So I we think, played Mad Dash, and we played that all the time, like Mario Kart. Yeah, but, you're running. but I don't. I used to. I don't even think I have my original. I used to have the the hard copy of this game, but I don't think I have it anymore. I think I traded oh. it. I think oh, I traded it for dangerous? a second copy of Halo, so we could play. Um, uh, we have land parties. That's why. Yeah. That's what I did. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude, Mad Dash, though. I used to have, like, me and my brothers would play that all the time. Uh, not like, well, but you're playing you're playing with each other, right? So, like, we had four controllers. It's so, like my dad would play us sometimes. It'd be me and my little brothers, and we'd all play together, like, racing. Yeah. And you're, like, jumping on stuff. You pick up power-ups, and you're jumping and things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Sorry, I just got text now I'm, got I'm getting memories now of this. Right, yeah, I like throw back. Dude, we, had like a, we had a Halo 1 tournament one time, and we're like, we literally played a Blood Gulch game of Capture the Flag. Like, I think it was like five hours. I think we just gave up. We're like, all right, it's not gonna over. It's a good game. Good game. <laughs> like, because it's just like, you're like, you just had to score once. Right. But everybody had pistols, and you're just like wrecking each other the whole time. Because <laughs> you just can't. Like, it's just over. As soon as the flag gets touched, it's, it's over. You're like, oh. Yeah. Um, you know, I just, uh, I, Xbox, like, let's just get rid of it. Come on, let's just get rid of gold, like, games of Yeah, gold. Just, just have Game Pass. You're going to make the money. Yeah, like, throw, just throw those, yeah, throw them on Game Pass. Shit, but dude, wait, like, do you think it's the, the, the game developers and the, the game studios that don't want Game Pass, or? Uh, for those, I don't think that's the problem. I think, I think for those games, they just have contracts that they signed like six months ago uh -huh. we, like a year ago and i think they're just stuck doing these until they have to run them out and i think that's why i think gold is going to go away but i think the reason why they dropped the 12 month is i think they're trying to transition people over they're trying to because they, they got to make up the money right because that's they're making a ton of money off gold still uh it's like, right it's like having it's like multi, like all these subscription companies right they have these subscriptions and they even if the people aren't using they're still getting charged right so they're still making millions upon millions right like off of people that don't even get on xbox live it's just sitting there to just charges up every month 799 799 right, $7 right. $7 so they're they're trying to not i don't think they'll get rid of it exactly i think they'll keep it so that they can keep charging those people forever yeah yeah but, well who would we talk who was it that was talking the other day they're saying that they're per they have a friend that still gets charged for aol or something like that right or, <laughs> what my yeah, mom still was uses AOL. About that? I was like, oh my gosh, mom. Somebody I was talking to you got tagged doing that. They were like, oh yeah, was, they, my friend just got like a, <laughs> they're still getting charged for it. I'm like, how? For AOL. Like, yeah, AOL's like, not even around anymore, is it? Dude, if you got a bank account and that sucker charges, oh, dude, yeah. then yeah, you're still paying. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Um, i trying to think what else we have. Anything else to talk about this week? Um, I don't know. I think we're good. What are you going to do this week? You got me? I am going to uh, do some streaming, and I'm going to, what else am I going to do? Um, play some games, and I'm actually taking a couple of days off of work. Oh. 
play so Destiny. Let's that means be more stream. Gonna do. I'm gonna do some day streams. Yeah, I'm excited. It's gonna be a light week at work for me anyway this week, so it's good. I got some stuff I need to catch up on. I want to do more streams. So yeah, yeah. Dang, dude. Uh, Tuesday. So Tuesday, we want to play that game. So. Tuesday. Yeah, let's do it. So you guys download it. If you want to play with us, just come to the stream on Tuesday. We'll make it happen. We'll try to get some people in. Trials on the weekend. Yeah, we're going to try to get some trials in the weekend. Yeah. Yeah, you guys go ahead and do that. I'll watch. Bro, I'm telling you. Dude, you see, do you guys see how, like, sweaty I got, though, dude? Like, <laughs> were you watching? I was. Were you listening, huh? I was. Dude, I, was. I, I, I had you up. Man. Yeah. I'm like, I, I'm, I, don't, I try to hold back, like, from being mean. But I'm like, why are you guys all... <laughs> Like, sorry, like, I, I've spent a long time playing Trials of Cyrus on Destiny, okay? Like, I get sweaty fast. <laughs> like, it's, it's not fair. I need to be nice because you guys, we were, it was a learning experience. I kept saying that to make myself feel better about being mean. I'm like, we're just learning. It's okay. We're just learning. Yeah. <laughs> you good, Josh, you, you guys started doing better, though. That's the thing. Like, it's not, I'm not saying you guys suck. Like, it's just, we got to the point where, like, we started figuring it out together trials is just such a different animal you know it's true it really is it's it's a very different feel than just jumping in 6v6 which is what i like it makes you realize how uncompetitive control is yes yes it really you really do <laughs> pirates you like my shirt hey Jesus. pirates what's going on Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you're not getting one tap <laughs> uh, nice. um, you guys, we're, we're going to do a quick shout out to our Patreon supporters. If you guys don't know, we have a massive Patreon giveaway. You literally have a day to get into it. Uh, this one, this month, the giveaway is for an Xbox One Design Labs controller, Zeba Games, colored, all kinds of pretty stuff with Zeba Games on there. We're going to, Yugami's going to, did you already order it? I hope you did. If not, we can. Oh, I thought it. we were going to order it once we got the winner picked. I don't know. We can do whatever. Okay, because we need I'll to order it. it. We still need to sign it because you're gonna get it. Then you're gonna then send it to me. And That's then true. I'll send it to All the right, I'll, I'll I'll make sure we order it tomorrow. Then I'll send you. I'll just I'll I'll send you the money from the. Picture. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then uh, what was I just gonna say? Oh, we have our next month giveaway. Can I show it right now? I showed it to a couple. Yeah, of I saw it earlier. You showed it earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's cool. So, next month's giveaway though is gonna be dope, right? Xbox Classic Pack. Right, what is this? Oh my gosh. So it comes with a wired Duke controller for your your Xbox One. All right. It's got a skin to make your Xbox One look like an OG Xbox. And it comes with one month Xbox Game Pass. Like, like dude, come on. Like, dude, for real. Like, that's bad, dude. <laughs> I was like, what? Because we're trying to make our giveaways better. We don't want to make you guys feel like you're cheap. Like, Game Pass is cool and all, but like, come on, dude. Something sent to you is way cooler. Um, so we got a shout out to our Patreon supporters. Dean Master, Queso Cabeza, I'm Nuts for Bus, R56, Cooper S11, Ms. B, Danny D, Five is the Magic Number, Cheesehead, and then somebody else subbed and I just forgot. Oh, it was um 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 um, um. Oh, you just said it the other day. Wiggles, uh, wasn't it Wiggles? Was it Wiggles? No, 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 it's Pirate. It's Pir Pyrotics. Pyrotics. Pyrotics, yes, yes. Oh my gosh, dude. Looks like the Hulk threw up. It is the Hulk that threw up on <laughs> that controller. And that's why it's called the Duke and it's Savage. I have two OG Xboxes. Oh, oh well, Rapture. Um sorry. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> uh, if you guys want you can check out socials for Zeba Games, Zeba Games also is our website. We're Zeba Games everywhere. Um your Gamma, where can the people find you? You can find me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Yogomi, Y-O-G-O-M-I. You can also follow me on Instagram at Yogomi. You can also follow me on Twitter at Yogomi HQ and YouTube.com slash Yogomi. The, um, yay. You can just find me on Twitch. Just go to Twitch. Just find me there. That's, that's where we do everything. Um... Is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. You guys, I love your faces. Yagami loves your faces too. I know I do. he does. Um, and yeah, we will see you guys next time. Yeah, episode 31 is next time. Okay, bye. 31. Bye. <laughs>